you let me first start by asking you what made you come out of that anonymous space where you wrote on your instagram today i am a survivor i am not a victim um first of all i'm so happy to be here and let me tell you i'm very 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 nervous and i'm feeling so emotional right now <laughs> uh so thank you so much uh, once again and thank and, you uh, and thank you i know i know how difficult it is to come and speak so i thank you and i promise you that we don't have to talk about anything that you're uncomfortable about so please this is a safe space for you to be exactly who you want to be yeah so there is always this buzz on social media i think right now that this is a tell all uh, so i want to clarify that for you know but them that is definitely not a tell all it is uh, because i'm legally binded not to disclose certain details of my case because it's subjudice it's ongoing uh, well uh, you asked me asked me about victim to survivor journey yeah yeah so uh, it happened in 2017 february 17th so uh, when it happened to me my whole life has turned upside down um uh, and uh, i don't know i was constantly maybe my mind was constantly searching for something or somebody to find and like you know so that i can put the blame on and i'll have an easy exit because it was like like a constant uh, chaos in my mind that why did it happen um, and uh, you know why me and so many questions and so i started finding i i was constantly searching for something to put the blame on so that i'll feel good maybe so for instance i was thinking that i lost my father in 2015 so for instance i was thinking maybe if he was alive this wouldn't have happened to me so maybe if i didn't have that shooting on the next day this wouldn't have happened to me so so many what ifs what ifs what ifs and uh, then i used to think that maybe it's like a you know long nightmare once i'll get up in the morning that everything will be back to normal so there's so many times i desperately wanted to go back to that time before it happened so that i could change everything that my life will be normal so suddenly i'm this assaulted actor actress and some this victim tag and the so many things all together so i was blaming myself so everything every time i think about it every time i hmm. uh, think about this incident or what happened after that i again it it was like a loop like i'll come back to where i have started and i'll blame myself So I was thinking, yeah, it it happened to me. It's my fault. It, it, uh, mm. So I don't. Know, the blame game was going on for a very long time, and then uh, my trial happened in 2020, uh, and I had to go to the court for 15 days. Mm. Those 15 days, when I was in the court, it was a a whole different level of you know traumatic experience altogether. So when I came out of that. court on that last day the 15th day after 15 hearings i came out of that court feeling like a survivor when i came out of that court i that's when i realized that i'm a survivor i'm not a victim anymore that i could survive this uh, and i am not just standing up for myself but also for the dignity of all the girls who will come after me so that's when i realized or maybe the my mind was finally convinced me that i'm a survivor not a victim anymore so that's how mm. i explain it and you know what you talk about blaming yourself that's a very common uh, re- response that happens actually with those who have experienced abuse and 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 harassment somehow uh, we end up thinking that we must have done something if we had done something differently uh, maybe we could have avoided it so you know this is one of the most common things that happens with survivors of uh, of sexual abuse but you know you were also taking on a very very powerful man and he was in the same industry as you and th- while there are people who have stood with you and i know after your instagram post for example mamu in mohanlal were among men who came forward and said we stand with you bhavna it must have been extremely lonely i know that the kerala women's collective was fighting on your behalf but your name was never revealed till you decided to own your own battle where did you find the strength to own your battle put your name and face to it as you are doing in this moment um see the five years journey was very very difficult for me uh, because 
you know how it is the discussions and debates and all happens in channels when something happens so um when this happened in 2017 of course a huge number of people were standing by me they were supporting me but then there is another group of people who are so comfortably sitting in some channels and talking about me they don't even know me some random people saying things like she shouldn't have done that she shouldn't have you know traveled at night she shouldn't have and it's just 7 o'clock in the evening we are talking about so they were sort of you know accusing me for what happened maybe blaming me and you know and at the same time there was this kind of a negative pr or like a propaganda happening in social media that it says that it was premeditated that i staged this and it's a fake case that i made it up uh, i'm just faking it and all that things that was very 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 painful to you know see to listen to know i was devastated like something so unfortunate happened to me in my life and i was devastated and i was broken into a million pieces while i was trying to pick those pieces up and then to try to stand up and you know to face the life again these kind of things were like pulling me down again and again and again when they were talking things like i it, it i staged this and it was premeditated and hurtful things like that and they were very hard with their words they were very comfortable saying that so sometimes i wanted to scream on top of my lungs to these people saying that my parents didn't raise me like that that was like an insult to my parents to my family i am not a person who will do such a thing that i'm not an evil person so it was see my dignity was like already snatched away from me yet i was victim shamed and it was very easy for so many of them it was you know to very easy for them to just pull me down again so that hurt me really bad i was very 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 uh, you know hurting it was very painful and i was not on social media during that time luckily i think so that that personal attack maybe i dot that toxicity bullet i don't know i joined instagram in 2019 even then mm. i did get some hateful messages asking me to like why don't you go and die like why don't you go kill yourself and how are you living like this and you know and you shamed or you know that you're going to pay for what you did and all these things i'm like what what did i do you know so the journey was very very so when i instagram on it said four weeks back like in january i i just wanted to put it out there i just wanted to mm. let people know that this is what has been happening in my life and i'm so grateful for those who stood by me and when i put it out there it was very 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 cathartic yeah you know um, you brought up how you uh, 